Hello there and welcome to The Verdict. Mick Cornett with Kent Myers. Glad you're with us. We're here every week talking about current affairs and some interesting guests. And this week we've got some interesting guests and a, a current topic. Indeed. Uh, going to be talking about happy birthday, Oklahoma. Oklahoma's uh, one, uh, centennial celebration, 100th birthday in 2007. Uh, there's been an awful lot of preparation for it going on up to this point. There's a lot uh, going to happen in 2006 that we'll see. And of course, a lot more in 2007 and thereafter. And we've got two guests here today that know an awful lot about it and are going to be able to tell us what to look for. These two guests have not waited until 2007 to start uh, giving us events. They've already been had a few and they're building up. And I'll tell you, 2007 is going to be a magical year. And if you haven't heard much about it, today's guests will be able to uh, fill in all the blanks for you. It's the Oklahoma Centennial 2007, but a lot is going on right now in 2006. And we'll learn about it on today's edition of The Verdict. For one Oklahoma-based company, success didn't happen overnight. Initially, the days were long, 80-hour weeks common. As we grew, we wanted to share our success, and the ideals of corporate and civic responsibility found a welcome home. Today, we're the largest investor in the Sooner State, and a source for exciting, new, high-quality jobs. We're Chesapeake Energy, committed to building a better Oklahoma. All children deserve a life of hope and love, but sometimes they experience a life of pain, neglect, and abuse. When that happens, each child deserves all the quality, assistance, and representation that can be offered in our legal system. For more information, call 23CHILD. Oklahoma Lawyers for Children, helping to bring hope and love back to the lives of abused children. You need this one to get satellite HD. This one's your DVR. This one's for local channels. Mm. This one's... What are we supposed to do with all this stuff? Got you covered. Oh, by the way, that old satellite stuff makes a great end data. That doesn't look so bad, right, honey? Don't live in satellite denial. Get the latest entertainment without the hassles. From Cox, your friend in the digital age. The Cox Channel. More sports. More fans. More cheerleaders. More fun. Nobody does more local sports. And nobody does it better. Welcome back to The Verdict. Mick Cornett with Kent Myers, two distinguished guests, and Kent's going to introduce them to us. We are very honored today to have uh, two guests that know an awful lot about the Oklahoma Centennial and have contributed mightily to the success of Oklahoma in the time that they have lived here, and that's most of their lives, if not all of their lives. Across the table on my right is Blake Wade. Blake is the Executive Director of the Oklahoma Centennial Commission. Uh, he is a Lawton native, graduated from the University of Oklahoma, spent 20 honorable years in the military and retired uh, as a major with many decorations. Uh, he has previously served with the Oklahoma Hist Historical Society and he's been the executive director since uh, of the Centennial Commission since 1999. Blake, welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you. Glad to be here. On my left, uh, I am pleased to say is uh, Lee Allen Smith. And what I'm pleased to say about that is that he's a man that I have known and admired for yes, 50, yes, 50 years. <laughs> uh, uh, Lee Allen is vice chairman of Ackerman McQueen and is president of Oklahoma Events. Uh, he is a native of Oklahoma City, graduate of Oklahoma City, of uh, OU. Uh, has been in the broadcasting, both radio and television business, many years in Oklahoma City. Has uh, uh, earned many civic and professional honors. As a member of the uh, Oklahoma Hall of Fame, he's now chairman of the Oklahoma Heritage Association and done many, many great things here in Oklahoma and Oklahoma City. Lee Allen, welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. We're going to start with a videotape just to kind of get everybody excited about what's coming up here in 2007 and actually uh, happening up to 2007. So let's take a look at the Oklahoma Centennial video. Hi, 
Hi, this is James Garner. Hi, this is Reba McIntyre. Hi, this is Johnny Bench. Hi, I'm Barry Switzer. Hey, everybody, this is Vince Gill. Welcome to my home state of Oklahoma, where we'll be celebrating 100 years of statehood in 2007. Well, I know everybody is anxious to look forward to it. And, and, and Blake, when, when you uh, start a speech to some group in Oklahoma, it could be rural, could be urban Oklahoma, what do you start off with? How do you begin to sell the impact of the centennial celebration? Mayor, we start out by giving, showing that video that you just watched, which gets everybody in the right mood. But more importantly, our mission is to make sure that every individual, every Oklahoman is playing a role in this centennial. You'd be surprised how many people did not realize in 2007 we will be 100 years old. And so we see that we've got to make sure that all Oklahomans are fully understanding that we are going to have the greatest centennial of our first 100 years. Lee Allen, when will it start? Will it start January 1 of 07? Will it, will it start in, in, in statehood day, which I guess is in the, in the fall of the year? Or, you know, I like a lot of people think about Oklahoma history and they think of April because that's when the land run was. What, what, what date should people be focused on? Well, I think that they could focus on November 16th about 7 as being the official day to celebrate. But the countdown began, as you saw in the video, it started with a dome dedication. That was a centennial project. And I think that was very successful and since that time. We've moved forward with a lot of things like you mentioned April. The run monument is going to be monumental to coin that phrase, I think it's the Arch of St. Louis when we get it completed. People are happy about it, but we have done... That's uh, the down by the river. The down by the river. It'll be yeah. 46 pieces down by the river. And uh, it's magnificent, done by Paul Moore down in Norman. But there's a lot of other things, the clock's going up all over Oklahoma City, the fountain, the centennial train at the zoo, other things coming along, or boys and girls clubs, the Oklahoma Art Museum, many things we're doing that's touching lives of everybody, young, old, athletic, uh, Etc. Lots of statues, like we talked about, Ali Reynolds and Bobby Mercer. We're putting in Wayner Brothers and put in Spawn, and we've got Garner down in Norman, and uh, we have a quarter horse at the State Fair to honor the quarter horse that comes to Oklahoma City to bring so much revenue to our great city. So there's just a lot of things that have happened. So it's all begun. It's not just November 16th. And four or five years ago, when we were talking about it, Blake, uh, it's a little easier now to sell it. And I want to emphasize that the people in Oklahoma City should be thankful to the sponsors. They're the ones that make it happen. Blake and I are in front of you today, but uh, they're the ones that are making it happen to do all the things we're doing. And it just goes on and on. Vince Gill and uh, Jimmy Webb are doing an anthem for us, an Oklahoma anthem. We have a centennial CD with Reba and, and Vince, uh, the co-chairman, which all the proceeds will go to Habitat for Humanity in Oklahoma. So I could run out of breath some, some more here and tell you a lot of things, but Blake can fill it in while I'm Take a breath. May I just say that uh, Lee Allen has been uh, so uh, important to the overall centennial in that he's talked about Oklahoma City, but he's also helped me around the state with all of our projects. That dome dedication in, in uh, 2002 was, we felt, our kickoff. And we saw so many projects that Lee Allen's mentioned. We said we had to go ahead and get started. So every year we've done the land run and so many projects, and then again we've reached out all over Oklahoma. And uh, Lee Allen has not only been so gracious to help raise funds, and again our sponsors have been so wonderful, but he not only is helping Oklahoma City, he's helping Tulsa and he's helping that small town in Oklahoma which is so vital to our Centennial Commission. Uh, Blake, let me focus on you for a minute. Uh, I certainly second everything you said about Lee Allen. Um, How'd you get involved? How'd they pull you over from the Historical Society over to the uh, Centennial Club? That's a That's an interesting story. Uh, Governor Frank Keating at the time had just awarded the Oklahoma Historical Society $33 million to begin the new history center that now has been dedicated. And he said, Blake, I'd like uh, very much for you to do the centennial. I said, well, why, do we, why are we doing it so early? Now I realize, 99, we should have started maybe 10 years earlier. 
but he wanted the first project. He wanted the number one project, and that was the dome. And believe it or not, 51% of Oklahomans wanted the dome and 49% did not. So it was a very controversial issue. Today, I know all Oklahomans are very proud to finally finish the dome on our capital. With the guardian on top. With that beautiful guardian on top. Well, uh, tell me about your staff. What kind of numbers well, of people we're, work we're, for you? We're small because, uh, of course, we have Lee Allen uh, working uh, in Oklahoma events, and we have also a committee in Tulsa. We have a committee down in Lawton uh, headed by a retired general officer that's handling our National Army Museum of the Southwest. It's working on Southwest projects. So overall, we've got probably 15 to 18 people that are working towards this centennial, but we have so many volunteers, and that's the key to all of our success is to make sure that we get as many people involved in this centennial. And, and believe me, time is running out. We're up to one year. Lee Allen called the other day when we were watching the Rose Bowl and said, Blake, are you watching the Rose Bowl? And I said, my grace is why? And he said, one year from now, we will be at the Rose Bowl with our floats and uh, with, with no our all-star band with no and, rain. and no yeah. rain. That's the one thing we've got to promise each other. <laughs> Hey, give us a success story out there. Give us a, a rural community that's taken this on and, and has decided to do something special. Oh, there's so many. I'd like to talk about Eight Oklahoma and our CCC group that put a amphitheater. There was an amphitheater in their, in their park and it w had deteriorated and they decided to make that a centennial project. It went before the city council. Every project in a community, they have to raise the first one third of the money. Well, they all got together and all of a sudden it started being the project for Aid Oklahoma and then it becomes a part of the master plan. We have 42 board members around the great state of Oklahoma that decide whether to allow these projects to go on to a master plan by legislation and we have over 300 projects around the state. Dr. Grable in Lawton, Oklahoma with the original Lawton High building, being on the National Register of Historic Places, turning it back into the, to the grandiose building that it was at one time. Our courthouses, our 48 courthouses that are still existing around the state, the momentum is there now to make sure that we keep those and preserve them. We need to get to a break, but you can tell we've just touch the surface of everything there is to talk about concerning the Oklahoma celebration of 2007. We'll be back and learn more about the centennial when we get return. The Journal Record is pleased to be a sponsor of The Verdict. The Journal Record. Since 1903, the best source of Oklahoma business news and legal information. And Blankenship has stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Leading at fourth and seven on the Tiger, fourth and six yard line. 38 mm -hmm. seconds on the clock. The Tigers have no choice but to go. Uh -huh. Wiggins in to do the kicking. Here's the snap. And the kick is away. <laughs> R.S.M. McGladry. We're accountants. We do taxes, business valuations, estate planning, and consulting. And we're right here in Oklahoma working with the owners of small and medium-sized businesses. Steve Wilsey and Stuart Meyer have the resources and the experience. R.S.M. McGladry. In Oklahoma City, the phone number is 405-843-5311. Hello, anybody home? Hi. Digital Max, welcome to the neighborhood. Hello, kid. Whoa, I haven't seen a digital tangle like that since... Yeah. You need Cox Connections. With one connection, you get the whole digital enchilada. Kind of like this. Wow. What are you waiting for? Get one connection to all your digital services from Cox. I think I pulled something. Your friend in the digital age. 
Not sure where you're headed? NATS can help you find your way. It's the National Athletic Testing System. We call it NATS. You'll call it your launching pad to success. NATS will give you a standardized evaluation that will help you measure your performance and give that information to college coaches so they can accurately evaluate your potential. NATS also helps with academic support. Join with the Oklahoma High School Football Coaches Association and head for success at www.nats.us. Welcome back to The Verdict. Mick Cornett and Kent Myers are visiting with Blake Wade and Lee Allen Smith who are talking about the Oklahoma Centennial. Uh, kind of an unusual approach for us, but I think the most effective way to talk about this is to just let Blake and Lee Allen tell us, starting with the beginning in the November 6th, two th or uh, November of 2006. There you go. Take us forward, event by event or month by sure. month. Tell us what's going to happen. Ken, let me start off by saying that November 16th of 2006, which is stated today, we are going to kick off the centennial year. And we're going to do that in Tulsa, Oklahoma, with a nine days of festivals, a grand opening show, and that's going to be the beginning of a master plan that the Press Association and Mark Thomas is putting together of all the newspapers, where from that date, with that particular festival and opening gala, we will have then on centennial projects all over the state, and every newspaper will carry those through. And let me go from that time, and then let's talk about the uh, uh, Leon, what did, what's next after January that? the 17th, Chesapeake Boathouse, did you No, go that? ahead and talk about that. That's being dedicated, and that's going to be a classy, wonderful thing for the river. And uh, shortly after that, they'll have the Kermagee Trails and have a five-bell tower down on the point near I-35. And then uh, a lot of things have been done that we didn't mention that create a lot better atmosphere for us to promote the centennial, like the St. Louis Cardinal Baltimore game gave us a lot of credibility uh -huh. on honoring all the sports uh, baseball players from Oklahoma. The History Center was opening and that was a project that uh, we were proud of. Centennial Rotary Opry out in Stockyards has been a wonderful thing. As a matter of fact, they kind of led the parade to do the memorial thank you when Toby Keith and Vince Gill and Jimmy Webb and Joe Diffie all came in to honor uh, the fallen and our 10th anniversary of the memorial. But there's a lot of big things that are coming up after your Tulsa thing you talked about, and I can touch on that. But we had Oklahoma City University had a Centennial Book Fair, and uh, the American Indian Cultural Center comes later. Uh, so there's been a lot of things that's been done, a lot of things on the books, and I'll talk about that when you're ready. Well, let's just talk about the American Indian Cultural Center. That You know, what a wonderful tourist destination that will be in 2007. And we should all be proud to, to know that our 39 recognized Indian tribes will finally have a, a destination spot for all of us Oklahomans to have our guests come in and be able to really fully understand what our American Indians are all about. Or if we go down to Lawton, Oklahoma, the National Army Museum of the Southwest with $300 million collection of artifacts, not only of our military, but of our Southwest American Indians. And so we're helping build this museum to house this fabulous collection. The Matty Beal home down in Lawton, or the T.B. Ferguson home in Duncan. Route 66. The Chisholm Trail corridor, Mr. Clemmy in Enid, Oklahoma, documented all up and down, just like Route 66 east and west. Now we're going to start in on the Chisholm Trail from Comanche, Duncan, Chickasha, El Reno, Fort Reno, Enid, all the way up to Kansas. These are fabulous projects that because of this one-time, once-in-a-lifetime vision that we're going to be able to work on to get done, be completed, ready for all of our guests around the world to come in here for uh, the 2007 celebration. And we're really excited about not only our sponsors, but the state now is getting involved in helping us raise funds in order to do these dreams. And uh, like other states, the one thing I like about Oklahoma is we will have them completed and ready to show to everybody during our year and not be building them during our centennial year. So I, I think our plan is well laid out. Guys like Lee Allen and so many others are working on these fabulous projects, and I'll turn it over and let him tell a few of the others. Well, one of the big ones that I feel very pleased and honored to have at the end of this year, about five, 
will be unveiling the commemorative stamp from the U.S. Postal Services. They've picked the stamp, what it's going to be, we know what it is, we know the artist. We're all going to be very proud of it. I think it'll be a, starting on sale in January of 07 for our Oklahoma stamp. So I'm very pleased with that. Obviously, uh, we don't have time to run a clip from the Macy's float that Oklahoma had, but I've heard from, from Florida to California to, to Texas of how proud our Oklahomans were of our participation with Kristen Chenoweth singing Oklahoma in a very beautiful way with, with Jimmy Webb and Johnny Bench and Shannon Miller and Barry Switzer all aboard. I left out a few, I'm sure, but uh, uh, Howard uh, from the Choctaw tribe was aboard. Gee, I but it reminds me of the year from now when we are in the Rose Bowl Parade. And it's, uh, it's a unique, it's a one of a time only. We'll have two floats, not one, but two floats. We'll have an all-star band, 150 strong, from all over the state of Oklahoma. They've got to have a three-point average or better. And the unique other wonderful thing to tie with all that is that we opened the show. Disney did it the year before last. This year, Leanne Rhymes sang on it. But we opened the show, an OCU's dance team, and a talk to some today of our celebrities that will be there helping us on in the Rose Bowl. And I hope we'll even have an Oklahoman as the parade marshal. We don't know yet. But we're excited about the Rose Bowl coming up. And the uh, you know, and, uh, State Fair will have a lot to do with our promotion, too. They'll have a State Fair Expo, uh, Centennial Expo in Alt 7. And what I like more than anything is we're bringing all the expertise back for the Macy's Parade and also the Rose Bowl Parade because we're going to have the biggest parade in the history of Oklahoma right here in downtown Oklahoma City on October, October 14th, 14th, Sunday, 2 o'clock. All the bands are lined up. Uh, University of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State University. And some of the outsider thinks it's a pretty big deal because we had the stealth bomber already signed up to be flying over our parade. Uh, so well, it's going to be big. What we found out being in New York and out in California is we have so many Oklahomans that now live out there that they are so proud that we have branched out to bring in the world. What did they say? The Rose Bowl, 50 countries and 30 million people see that parade in that one day. Well, I know in New York there were two and a half million people on the streets. And so it's kind of overwhelming for this Oklahoman, but I'm just so excited to bring back some of these dreams that, that we've always had. Just over a minute and a half left in the show. The funding from the state legislature, it's been, yes, it's going to happen, not this year. We've heard that for a year or two. Where is it today as the legislative session starts? Today, the governor and the Speaker of the House and the Senate pro tem have all signed in a, a letter agreeing to give the Centennial $16 million, $4 million from, for Oklahoma City, $4 million for Tulsa, and $8 million rural. And you got to remember, every dollar we will have matched by $1, so now we're talking about $32 million. I do know that they're going to pass this in a supplement as soon as session starts around 1 February. And I couldn't be more delighted because every community needs that little boost and every senator and representative understands that. And by them giving it to us now and us matching these dollars, we can be ready for They can plan for it. They need time to plan. We're so no 15 city. seconds left, Lee Allen. How do you want to end the show? Well, I just would end it to, to say I appreciate the legislature and the governor all pulling together to do that. And the Oklahoma City dollars are going to major events, not to mostly to any of these things we talked about. In closing, the big show, it will be extravaganza at the Ford Center on November 16th. And many and all of, many, many, many of your celebrities like Vince and, and, and all the rest of them, I don't want to name them because they're not all committed, but uh, talk to Garner's people today. We'll have all of our celebrities back as best we can to celebrate that night. Then we're not through because the second century begins. We'll have some surprise for you, for at least in Oklahoma City, starting November 17th. Got to go. Uh, Kent, I'll be back with a final word after this. Lee Allen Blake, thanks for your good luck in 2007. Okiwani is an Indian name for a place where children play. When we obtained the camp, we found a lot of oil debris left in the woods. We saw a commercial about how the oil and natural gas industry cleans up old oil well sites. We called the OERB and they agreed to remove tons of concrete and steel. It didn't cost us a thing. Thousands of children have left their footprints on this land. Thanks to the oil and gas industry, they will for a long time to come. Bringing out the best in each student, 
That is the simple goal and tradition of Heritage Hall. The focus on the individual shapes the educational experience at Heritage Hall. Each student benefits from small classes, able, dedicated teachers, a solid academic curriculum, and exceptional co-curricular programs of athletics, arts, community service, and other activities, parental involvement, personalized counseling, and the development of responsibility, integrity, and a love of learning. If you want education taught with pride, then you want Heritage Hall. Gonna score. Come on, come on, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Go, 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 don't live in satellite denial. Get the reliability you expect from Cox, your friend in the digital age. The Cox Channel. More sports. More fans. More cheerleaders. More fun. Nobody does more local sports, and nobody does it better. Just to differentiate for Oklahoma history buffs, in 1889 was the land run, so we had that centennial in 1989. But this is Statehood Day. In 1907, Oklahoma became a state. And uh, 100 years later, we're going to have a celebration. There's the website, oklahomacentennial.com. Yeah, it's uh, amazing uh, that uh, there's going to be so much activity involved in this, and it, this planning goes so far back. Some people were pretty far-sighted mm -hmm. to start the planning as early as they did. The governors, uh, uh, both Keating and Henry, have worked hard on this, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a magnificent thing. I'm glad we're going to get a chance to experience it. Let's take a look at the Verdict's website, and this is where you would go if you want to give us an idea for a show that you'd like to see right here on The Verdict, theverdict.tv. For Kent Myers, I'm Mick Cornett. We'll see you next week on The Verdict. The preceding program was produced by the Production Services Group at Cox Communications, exclusively for the Cox Channel.